good morning so today I am starting my day off with a face mask and today's choice is the pharmacy bright on massage activated vitamin C mask with echinacea green envy not sure what the echinacea green envy is supposed to do but the vitamin C is supposed to brighten your eyes so we'll see um i did try this once the other day um it was at night and my face i felt like did get brighter which is weird um anyway you're supposed to apply a generous amount evenly to clean skin massaging in circular motions until color transformation has occurred the first time i tried it i'm like yeah that's great but what color is it supposed to be so it says avoid eye area leave on for 10 5 to 10 minutes depending on skin sensitivity that was another thing I was like okay well am I supposed to be feeling something what is going on rinse with water to remove maybe apply two to three times a week like I said I did try this the other day it wasn't yesterday I want to say it was two or three days ago so I'm gonna just um, squirt some of it out here and as you can see it's like a whitish green color um, and then I'm just gonna dot it on my face. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Um, and rub it in. And you'll see it gets really, really bright. Like, really bright. And I put it everywhere. You don't have to. You could even do like a multi-mask, meaning only putting, you know, the vitamin C one here on your cheeks and your nose, and then putting like a charcoal mask on your forehead if you have like blemishes or congestion of some sort. Um, but see how green it is now? <laughs> Pretty cool. The things we do for the interwebs. So I'm just gonna let this sit. Um, I did wipe it off on a towel I have. I always have a towel hanging on the back of my chair for reasons like this. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my spray bottle. I will wash my hands. I just am doing this for the sake of the video. So I don't have to get up right this second. And then I'm gonna wait the five to 10 minutes. And yeah, this is, uh, this is the vitamin C bright on pharmacy mask so I just took the pharmacy face mask off and um, my face isn't really I mean it's a little bit damp but as you can see it is quite bright I do have texture I have some scarring um, but for the most part um, my skin looks pretty pretty good um, a little bit of a not burning sensation but like a heat sensation when the mask is on which I don't mind um, I know that it's fine and that it's working so it's not a big deal um, but there's no burning or, or uncomfortability while the mask is on but I just figured I would show you guys what my skin looks like in natural daylight yes you're at the same channel I just put a pound of makeup on. I am going to now show you the six drawer makeup organization that I have in my room. So let's get started. I have another camera too that I'm gonna use, so um, it won't be on this, this camera, it'll be on the nice one. Okay guys, so the first um, section I wanna show you is kind of the top of my uh, six drawer organizer. And it's where I keep like my hair products and things of that nature, some jewelry, hair clips, things like that. So I'll just point out some of my top products. Um, this one I actually just got. It's a styling gel, so I wouldn't say that I like it or dislike it. Um, I think I've tried it before. It's just gel, so when I want to curl my hair, I can put this in and it curls it. Um, I've got my deodorant. For now, I have Degree Motion Sense. This is really good. This is OGX um, Smoothing Shea Sleek Smooth Style Spray. I use this every time I go to blow dry um, my hair um, or straighten my hair, excuse me. So it helps protect your hair. Um, on the back it just says it protects strands against extreme heat for amazingly smooth style. I pretty much use it every time I straighten my hair, so it's really good. Um, 
The other gel that I use um, for my hair, as you can see, it's running low, which is why I bought the Garnier one, um, is Tresemme. I did not not like this one. It's just that one was cheaper on Amazon, so I just went for that one, or I couldn't find this one on Amazon. Anyway, um, that one's good. Um, this is a hydrating air hair balm. Then I have my dry shampoo of choice, and it's the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It absorbs excess oils, fresh volume, leaves no residue and it's unscented this one's really good um, it does obviously spray out white so it's got like the the spray here sprays out white and then um, you rub it in so that um, it cleans your your scalp and your hair so I really like it um, I've tried other dry shampoos but this one's good it's a nice size it's seven ounces and I think this was like gosh, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. I'm not really 100% sure, but it was really good. Then back there, I have a uh, lint remover for the times I have lint. Yeah, obviously. Um, over here, I've got my Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is great. I really, really like this. This one came in a BoxyCharm as well. I get a lot of things from BoxyCharm. This is instant lasting volume, so you spray it at the roots basically and it adds volume to your hair. It's really, really good. Um, a little on the expensive side, so I'm gonna test it out and if I miss it once it's gone, then yes, I would repurchase it. Got some basic hairspray, Aussie Suave Mousse. Um, then I have a Redken straightening, straightening, I don't know what to call this, lotion for medium hair. Then I have some Briogeo products. Some of my favorite Briogeo are the Don't Despair, let's see if I can get that in the camera angle. Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. And then I have the Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protectant Cream. And I really like both of these for different reasons. Um, this one is the Blow Dry Perfection um, Heat Protectant Cream. You put that on your hair when it's wet. And then this one is a strength leave-in mask. Um, this one, it's kind of hard to tell whether this works. I feel like it's more of a cumulative effect. So over the um, course of maybe months or something like that, this one's pretty light. So I'll probably buy this one again though, just to make sure that it is still in fact working. So um, another Briogeo um, product that I barely use is the Be Well Organic and Cold Pressed Castor Oil. I think I misunderstood what this is for. <laughs> So basically on the back it says dispense a small amount of castor oil and massage into your hairline, scalp, or dry skin and cuticles. Um, this was expensive for that usage. Um, that's fine, um, I guess, if you're using it for, you know, hair growth and things of that nature. So I haven't used it enough to really be able to tell that. It is very, very sticky. So even like the bottle is sticky. I try to wash the bottle and it's just, it's of no use. Like my hands are going to be sticky now. So cool. And the last thing in the little container there is the PYT Argan Oil. And this is an oil treatment I got in BoxyCharm forever ago. And I use this as like a final step after I'm done straightening my hair. I love this so much. I use very, very little bit and it helps to smooth out my hair, my flyaways and all things of that nature. I love this. The last thing in there is the It's Your Brush Love Instant Brush Cleaner by It Cosmetics. It works really well. I feel like it dries out the brushes a little bit. So you gotta be careful when you're brushing this on and then wiping it into a towel or things of that nature. Um, you just gotta be really, really careful. The container that this is in, by the way, um, I don't know where I got these. I'm guessing like Target or Dollar Tree or something like that. Oh yeah, I see something else in here. Um, this is just a sample of Verb Ghost Oil. Um, I haven't tried it yet, obviously. It's just the sample of it. Okay, so that's it for my hair products that I keep on this little section here. All right, so next is just basically my jewelry. Um, I have like a bracelet here that says, in, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Um, I love this. This is basically a bracelet that was made out of a belt and I got this at like a fair or something with Lola Geek actually. I got one of these and I also got one for another friend. But these are great, these are made uh, homemade. So um, I really like that. I've got some other bracelets here. I'm not gonna go through every one because basically I can't really link them because they're just old bracelets. Um, I have some earrings here, a ring. Um, I have some earrings down here. I got some cool funky hoops that my sister got me. I think my sister got me these as well as 
these. She knows me very, very well, so I got a bunch of those. Um, I got some earrings. I think I got these from Torrid. Um, I'll link them below if I can find them. If not, yeah, I got them on Torrid. I love leaf earrings. I just always have leaves and feathers are like my thing. Um, as well as butterflies, so I have some butterfly earrings. Then I have some earrings that weren't labeled Lady Gaga, but they sure as heck look like her, so um, I love these. These are just little dangly Gaga earrings. Um, I have some handcuffs with some pearls. I thought those were pretty, pretty funky. And then over here I have um, some hair clips. Um, I got, the pink ones are from Sephora. They're like a pack of four for 10. These are great because they don't really um, put a dent in your hair when you go to clip them. And then I have like an old fashioned, you know, clip that will dent your hair. So <laughs> back here I have like my hair things. So I've got a wet brush. This is great. This is, um, like I said, called a wet brush. So this is for when you get out of the shower and you need to brush your hair, but you don't want to damage your hair this is supposed to cause less damage than a regular brush um, I don't know if that's true because I've only had this for a couple months well actually now I've probably had this for eight months since like January so um, I don't know can't tell if my hair is damaged or not but then I have one of these old um, brushes um, and then I have a comb that has hair dye all over it from the other day. And then I have one of these. These are clutch. So I have one of these for, you've seen them in the video, the beginning of the video I was wearing this. Um, it just keeps your hair out of your face when you're doing your skincare. Then I have a bunch of headbands. And then I have these silk hair um, hair ties which are really cute um, they're from ColourPop so they came in like packs of two pink and one black so I bought two packs and then I have in the back I have some hair bows and like little uh, flowers and then I have cute um, what not q-tips I have bobby pins and these kind of old-fashioned hair ties so that's kind of where I keep all of my hair my hair accessories. Um, over here you will see a get well soon balloon my friend Melissa got me. She's really featured in all these videos. Um, I have some toothbrushes, then I have then I have a face care tool which is in there. Um, it's one of those things that you use to basically like clear out your face if you have blemishes. Um, it really works well. I do clean it every single time I use it and uh, sanitize it. So, But that's where I keep it. I keep it in the original package so that I remember how to use it. It has the instructions on it. Behind here I have, let's see if I can move this out of the way. I have my Olo clip. Um, Graveyard Girl talked about this. This is um, something called an Olo clip. It's a four-in-one lens that you put on your phone, and basically it works to like do a fisheye effect, a wide-angle lens, things like that. And this is what the Olo lens looks like. So it's like two-sided, and you put it on your phone. It's in the case right now, but anyway, it's really cool. I've only used it a couple times, but it's for like Instagram pictures and things of that nature. Um, over here, you'll see I got crafty. This is actually a tissue box that I cut the top off of and I use it for like storage. I know that's super weird, but at the time I didn't have any more of these like plastic containers, so I just use a tissue box. I was like, eh, I'm not using it. So um, I've got like my checkbook in there, my uh, things from church, um, a picture of me and Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Uh, old picture of my sister. Lady Gaga CD Chromatica, obviously. And then I have like um, catalogs from Uncommon Goods in there. I've got some Sharpies, a wallet, um, some of these glasses, cleaners, an old MP3 player. Kids don't know nothing about this. This is an MP3 player. That's literally all it did. It didn't have radio or iTunes or anything. It's just you turn it on and mp3s then oh let me go over here over here is like my school supply office supply I've got a stapler grabadora um, I've got um, some paper things here got some labels got a dry erase marker um, eraser dry erase marker some tape some glue some paper clips some rubber bands you know everything you need for an office basically then I have some face masks I got off of Amazon. Um, I can link those below. I've got my Dime Optics glasses that I got recently. I'm kind of keeping them there for now. I got a cute candle, um, lavender vanilla. It's just one wick. I got this at Giant. 
it's um, really good. I love it. I've only lit it probably like three times so far, but um, it's very calming. Then over here, I've got my wires and electronics. So I have my Mophie, which is fantastic. For those of you that don't know, now you know. You're welcome. This is a Mophie for my iPhone. Um, this costs about 80 bucks, I think, and it's basically like having another charge. We lost power recently, and I use this as well as um, something I got in a BoxyCharm, which is this, to charge my phone. And it's fantastic. If you have this charge, it gives your phone another full charge, no matter what, no matter where you are, and it's just super convenient and fantastic. Like I said, these are all my wires. Um, I've got a little bank down here that says new shoe fund. I'm not doing too well because I don't go out and I don't spend money. So then we have um, some more technology things, batteries, um, an old, um, what are they called? Terabyte drive. There are my smart, smart suites that I keep over here. As you can see, I'm doing well. I still have a bunch left. <laughs> and then I have a cute vase with some rocks in there and some fake flowers. And then I have some real flower buds as you can see, flower petals as you can see over there with a candle. I don't know, I didn't know what to do with them so I just kind of decorated and made them look pretty. So that's the top of my six drawer organizer. And that's it for today. Unfortunately, my computer does not like all of the high quality footage that my other camera is putting into the, the system so Unfortunately, I have to do this in parts. I filmed the entire first top drawer of my organizer and inputted all the footage and it basically crapped out on me. Um, I am not a guru, clearly. So I'm gonna do my best and try to kick out these videos to you daily and maybe do them in parts if I have to. So thanks for watching and subscribe and tell a friend.